Hey there, YouTube. I was just wondering if you guys were brave enough to go out in your own yard and uh, and uh, shoot video of what's going on in your own community. Uh, overnight tonight, we're going to have thunderstorms. It's going to lead to icing, and then uh, thunder, snow, and blizzard, 60 mile an hour winds for the day on Thursday afternoon. So we're getting all the seasons within a 12 hour period. If this is not bringing up questions in everybody's minds, and uh, there are scientists out there that can give you concrete answers, and they are not. There is a reason for this weather. And uh, your local weather people on your local news channels will not tell you. Uh, if you watch our local channels here in Iowa, they never, ever talk about what's going on in the rest of the nation. Ever. If you want national weather, you're going to have to watch the 530 News or, you know, the NBC News or the Weather Channel or, uh, you know, the, you're not going to get national weather on our, on our channels here, on our local news. Ever. Now, uh, as you can see, I'll be quiet here for a second. You can hear the plane flying low overhead. And uh, that's because commercial traffic has to actually come in underneath this deck that you can see they're putting out over here. And uh, so they have to, you know, not hit each other, right? So that they actually, if you're a pilot, you know that you steer by going up and down, not whether this way or that way. That way you know you're in the clear. And so commercial traffic has to fly underneath the traffic that puts this stuff up in the air. Uh, they, the guys that put this stuff up in the air are military and they uh, have the right of way. They don't even uh, have the same beacons as one another. So you really have to, if you're a commercial pilot, you have to find them with your eyes, basically. Uh, sounds like somebody's calling me on my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Wonder who that could be. And, um... But as you can see, there's heavy traffic today. Flip this around. Go on the other side of the camera here and let you just go ahead and take a look. See, my gain is kind of being funny on my camera, so I'm trying not to point it right at, at the sun. But you know, you can see what's going on here. You know, if you want to zoom in or, or whatnot. But, so you can see what I'm actually referencing. Geoengineering, weather modification, vaporized metallic particles being put in your atmosphere to modify the weather. They're, to me, I, I, these guys are acting like thermostats, okay? Control the heat cold situation. You can create wind, weather, whatever you want, especially a directed energy mix. And going closer to the one. These guys are really booking to put this stuff up here. See? There we go with my gain again. So I'll go ahead and zoom out. You can see where he's going. And they use the sun's energy, actually. So they actually work with these CMEs and stuff that come in and, and uh, work with that type of energy, too. And uh, the other day, John Kerry was heard, all right, explicitly heard saying that global warming is the world's most fearsome weapon. Okay. That was a quote of John Kerry of day before yesterday. He didn't say a force. He said a weapon. All right. John Kerry. You know, forget Bill Nye the science guy coming on the other day after that alert I put out there about the geomagnetics. Uh, going wacky and it was incredible I couldn't uh, explain the data and uh, Bill and I the science guy was on first thing on the news explaining about climate change and and uh, uh, and all this is talking about the uh, Sun's activity as well uh, but he didn't really have that good of a explanation of course
But yeah, I'm not doing this free hand today. I got the yay to my tripod. Yikes. Sorry, guys. That guy's really booking, so I'm having to... I don't have a very wide lens on this. If I want to zoom in, then I have to really kind of track it. But, you know, I have a $200 tripod here, $100 or something. Can't remember what I paid for, but it's a nice one. And I'm right here in DeSoto, Iowa, though. This is uh, ground zero, I believe, for weather modification for the whole eastern part of the United States. I'm right here in the uh, I-80 corridor. So, uh, it's a great place to modify the weather as the fronts come out of the uh, Rocky Mountains from the west. And they probably do it all, you know, they do this all over the place, guys, you know. Got my neighbor across the street going, what's he going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows what's going on. We had uh, a couple years ago had a plea of UFOs go over our town and she was a witness and she was interviewed on the news. So was I, but I had the video. I was the only one that caught video of it. Caught several of them, about 10 of them. And out of the 25 that flew over our town and the news came out. I mean, it was witnessed by everybody here in town. But I'm the only one who had video and no, I'm not going to put it on YouTube. Because I don't want them to have it at all. Because on the web, you're either a merchant or merchandise, guys. Think about that. That's what it is. That's what they've turned it into. You know, you're either a merchant or merchandise. You know. And I don't sell anything. I don't got no. I'm not making money off of this at all. Not a cent. Not a penny. And I have to fit this in, you know. <laughs> with my spare time. Gorgeous day out here though today. Right now it's uh, in the 50s. Uh, we were down below zero, but we haven't had uh, 50 since, uh, let's see, November something probably, early November. And then we've been uh, in the freeze since then. Yep. We've had a few thaw cycles. Again. Yeah, people are now paying attention tonight to what's going on with our weather now. Before, I was the wacko that was out there filming these guys, and now they're looking at it like, mm hmm. So go ahead and get out there in your yards, people, and put up your tripods and your cameras. Film it, put it up online, document it. You know, uh, the one thing that they're worried about is lawsuits, folks, for when they're using this as a weapon and for uh, sustainable development. You know, for financial gain and you don't get a penny except a FEMA check. You know, you're going to take a FEMA check if you lost a loved one in a car wreck or something like that. How many people have died? You know, as a result of the uh, car wrecks alone? Hmm. You know? And the pileups that we've been having, the injured people, what about the injured people? You know, I mean, this really does hurt. And yeah, you guys got to be the idiots if you want to go out there and drive around in the wacky weather. <laughs> go ahead. You know, I stay home. I'll, you know, I have a 4x4 truck, Dodge Ram. It's got a brand new engine in it. 4x4, new tires. Jacked up, it's got a long bed, king cap, and I don't care to put a scratch on it because it's a 98, but it's all been rebuilt. I like to do project cars. Go ahead and zoom around. I'm going to give you a 360 there, folks. You can see the deck that they're putting in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long do I want to make these, depending on how I'm going to upload them, huh? Hello, buckaroo. I'm actually doing a series of these. I did some in the morning.
this is how they do it. This is the uh, the method. This is right above me. This guy just drove by me twice. <laughs> What is he doing? What is he looking at? Well, that's what we need to do, folks. And if they ask, you can tell them. You don't have to start yelling it at them or nothing like that. They can see. They got eyes. And if they want to figure it out, well, shit, they will. You know, that's basically how I was tuned in all by myself, really. You know, I've been tuned into science since I've been 16, but it's been what I've been focused on now. I went into electronics and, and, uh, and I've had side hobby studies and now into climate. And uh, that's where I thought, well, our climate really comes from out of space, don't it? And this little bad boy, it starts there, right? You know, look at the moons around the uh, solar system. If they're a little warmer, why? They'd be teeming with life. They're all, you know, full of frozen oceans, you know? And uh, I think maybe this is, you know, kind of what this may be all about. If you talk about it in the grand scheme, that there's a creation type story, you'd want a warming of our solar system to thaw those moons out and uh, have it teeming with life. And that's maybe one reason why we're having this type of activity and what's going on. If, you know, we're still so self-centered here on Earth thinking it's all just about us. You know, I'm not saying about friendly aliens and stuff, but this is God's creation. And it's all about Jesus Christ. So, uh, not about, you know, not about us. I mean, we're the church and we'll be his bride. But, uh, you know, Jesus modified the weather at his words, at his very command. So, uh, at the uh, request of his disciples, you know, when they're all scared, well, he was napping in the boat, knowing better than to go on, but... They freaked out and asked him to calm the storm. And even though they're avid fishermen, so it must have been some sort of a storm that freaked him out while Jesus was napping. <laughs> you know, these guys are freaking out. Then Peter got to walk on water, you know. You guys know those stories, shoot. I like to read them from time to time, get refreshed on them, though. Try to get away from that sun there a little bit because of my game. Go ahead and take a look at it that way. Going on 13 minutes. I got unlimited upload time, but I hate to make them too short because then you really don't get a good idea of the, what's really going on. You know, you just see some quick picks and. Smoke much? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Man, if I can really get below, it's a, got a good glare with that sun. But... And there's these white birds that's got that, if you just heard it's call. Right up there in the top of that tree. I've never really seen them around here before. Did I get him? There he is. There's that bird. Well, don't scare my bird away. Guy working on his stuff over there on his. Wake up my baby, too. Come on now, guy. <laughs> you do whatever you want, buddy. There we go. I can focus on him. A type of dove, perhaps, but it's got a weird call. I'm going to ask my father-in-law to identify this bird for me. It's the first time I've got it on camera, but I've seen a lot of them around here. Uh, lately, but I've never seen them here before. Never seen them before. I'm all the way zoomed. I only got it on my 45. I got an 800 zoom on this if I want it, but... Oh, oh, don't lose it. It's 
Got a neat call. Yeah, I'm kind of a bird watcher too here. We got bird feeders and stuff around. I can't believe I caught that bird and that bird. <laughs> yeah. Catching birds. So don't let them fool you that these, this is in geoengineering, folks. How hard it is to follow that guy with my tripod. <laughs> Catching birds. Catch them on the other side of the sun. He actually went underneath the sun. There. There he is. Like I said, they use the sun's energy to help uh, with the vaporization of this metals. That's why you always see them around the sun. They prep it inside and then spray it out the back. And use it in that sun's energy to do its deed. deed. Yep, and there's another guy over there, you can see. Oh, there goes Kelly, our top in this truck, <laughs> right down the way there, him and my friend Rick are going fishing. But Kelly's seen me out filming these guys before. Boy, I'm going on 18 minutes, huh, folks? Well, it's got to be that long. I just can't, you know, show you quick clips and then, you know. I like that good background noise, though. It doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's a dove. It's doing a dove call now, but it has another call too. That sounds kind of hawkish, so it's got to be a dove. White dove. Right up there, catching birds. Uh, that's what we do around here. Yeah. The Holy Spirit, perhaps. Yeah, I've been struggling lately, guys. Bad. Yeah. Been asking for the Lord's help and direction and guidance and grace and the blood of Christ. And, oh, yeah. Maybe he'll get us through it all, right? That's for sure. But I haven't seen these particular birds around before. Yeah, I've been keeping tune of what's been going on though out there with the sun though. That's important for for us when it comes to our weather. So 
And that that's that call you hear is that dub right there that I have right right now. So uh, beautiful bird. And I've noticed a few around. I don't know if it's the same one or like I said, I haven't. Oh wait a minute, I have seen a couple of them together. Now that I think about it. As we can see, these are persistent uh, trails, folks. These are not con trails. And if anything, you know, if people want to say if they're in anything innocent, then it's pollution. I'd get a ticket driving down the road leaving a smoke trail like that, and that wouldn't go away. You know, so bad that it blocks this guy out and even clouds up your whole day. It's, would it be pollution? Or is it a solution? And if it is, why aren't they sharing it with the public? Because they're using it for gain. They're robbing you folks. They destroyed so many communities and towns. You know, Hurricane Sandy, Katrina, all these mega storms that have hit. And even the smaller storms have just taken out, you know, half of a community. <laughs> you know, you don't get 95 tornadoes spawned instantaneously without some help, folks. Get a clue, really. And, you know, those tornadoes killed people and destroyed their, their life's work. And we're supposed to take a sh check and just shut up, and that's going to be the solution, right? You know, because we've got to keep the economy going so we destroy it and build it up again. Think about it. Think about the song of Queen's Reich Empire. I mean, talk about tearing it all down and building it up again. Another empire. Just keep building empires and destroying them. That's what they do, folks. <clears throat> This time they got seven billion people to deal with. They never had that issue before. And they all believe in liberty and freedom in their hearts. God given rights. Not their word given rights. And they can't take them away either. Nope. You know, because we all have souls that live forever. And they can take my body, but you know, got a soul there. But yeah, we're gonna have a mega storm overnight, starting overnight. That's why I'd really like to capture this build on. on uh, I've captured others I haven't made public, but this one's particularly uh, attentive. <laughs> and that bird is just still sitting up there, just sunning herself. But it's just gotta be a female bird calling out. We have geese on the pond over just to the right of me, about 200 feet. <laughs> you know, what can you say to all this, you know? bird flying way up there, enjoying the thermal drifts, I'm sure. Or drafts, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this was eight inches of snow. <laughs> Not too long ago around here. But I'll take the I'll take the moisture, man, but the evaporation's going straight back up in the air again, and I hope this ground stays soaked. So I'm not complaining about getting the six inches of snow in the rain and stuff. But, you know, at what cost? Another reason why I'm making this long one is I you know, don't know how much more I'm going to be doing anyway. Which for today, anyway. I am going to go ahead and let this run by itself so you will experience a little bit of quiet as I run in into my house for a second. You can just enjoy that view. As you can see the guy up there. Let me go ahead and point him out for you.
So yeah, not a lot of commentary. Sorry guys, took longer than I expected. I think I have a leaky water bottle on my floor in there, so let's clean that up really quick. And my baby needed a refill. <laughs> Very neat dynamic there. Now you can see it vaporizes and spreads out. Right across the street from me is a tank here. <laughs> That's where now the lady's house. She does a very good job. And the kids are now in the doorway looking. Where is he filming? Well, I want it all on film, dang it. 31 minutes. There's this guy out there, I think his name is Dark Skywatcher. Check him out. He's doing the telescope live feeds. And uh, some of them are three or four hours long, but it's, you know, closed zoom-ins of planets and the moon, uh, galaxies even, or stars that are out there. Does a really good job, actually. It's got a nice uh, type of telescope. Sure I'm zoomed out there. See the type of white clouds they produce. It's virtually right over my head here. Uh oh. And who do we have flying into the air? Coming from east, going west. And you'll see him come out of from city there. And you just turn your back for a moment. as if America doesn't already have enough on this plate. I just want to go ahead and tell you, too, think about this, guys. If we're 17 trillion going on 18 trillion dollars in debt, guarantee you it's going to continue. And if you think about to the, the amount of total savings the Americans have, which is 21 trillion dollars, what do you think they're going to do with your 401ks? In the name of saving the economy? I hope you ain't got your money there. Or if you are employed and you have a substantial 401k, it'd probably be a good idea for you to quit your job, collect your 401k money, and uh, shoot, just stick it in a mattress. You know what I mean? <laughs> just stick it in a mattress. For now. Or take a big loan against it largest loan that you can get because they're going to take a hundred percent at least you'll have fifty percent in your pocket and you can pay that stuff back to yourself in, in interest and you pay that interest to yourself but yeah you don't know uh, want to be caught in a 401k today guys I mean all you people out there that have had substantial careers and and have uh, you know couple hundred grand in there uh, we have some money in one right now but we've you know uh, been talking about it and uh, it's kind of like you're a forced investor now if you're employed 
and you can't get out that money, you can't touch it, except under extreme circumstance, and, and uh, they're going to get it before you do, because 401k is actually a tax term, 401k is the uh, legal term that allows you to save money under certain taxation conditions, so they can legally go in there and just take that money. And uh, I hope you are going to hold your employers accountable when they do that by striking and just plain quitting. So when they take that money that was promised to you, it was your employer that promised you the money. They chose the investment company, not you. You didn't have that choice. Okay, and you, most companies that you work for that offer that in a benefit package force you to uh, contribute. So... Um, and have other contribution schemes going on, like matching and stuff that doesn't really mean anything. They just, that's just on books. So uh, trust me, when it comes to the management of that 401k fund, they only have to contribute once every, what? But biannually, your employer has to contribute to that plan. So six months out of the year, they're taking that money from you. And you don't know where it's going. So when they take that money out of your 401k, when you wake up and that money's gone, uh, hold your employer accountable. Don't don't take their 800 numbers and call customer service, okay? The guy going right over. And yeah, it's going to be pretty windy here, folks. 60 mile an hour winds and stuff. And I'll tape until my battery goes. <laughs> This is proof they're modifying your weather. Okay. All these clouds are fake. <laughs> well, they're not fake, they're created clouds. They're not your grandpa's clouds. Boy, that guy's booking. Ain't he? I got him going totally across. <laughs> It's going to take me eons to upload, huh? Should I just put it to music? I don't know. I've said a few good things. No, they could turn and leave controls when they're turning, huh? Another guy right there. Kind of truck, right? Their home, and I just can't. <laughs> oh,
I try not to film my neighbors. This is guys. So. I mean, they just keep it coming. <laughs> they just keep it coming. to show you that that trail the plane is just by is still there. <laughs> yeah, this guy's coming along right behind him, of course. Building of a storm, like I said. Thunderstorms overnight, leading to ice storm in the morning, then thunder snow and blizzard in the afternoon. They're building the storm right now, folks. This is for weather modification. Well, the safety is about them using it as a weapon against you. Destroying your land, your homes, your property, your lives, your careers even. How many uh, snow days have people taken? You know, or storm days. Uh -oh. Sorry, boots. I think that's enough proof to show you that this is for weather modification. And they do not have our permission. Okay, so if something happens, you make your insurance company sue these guys, okay? Identify the companies who are involved, the inventors, the patents, all those. Sue all those people, okay? They're benefiting financially. They need to be sued. And make these insurance companies go after them robbers. Like if somebody were to break into your home and steal your stuff, you claim it on your insurance as a home invasion or robbery, and they pay you out on your insurance because your jewelry was stolen. Well, if they have a chance to get that robber, they'd get, you know, restitution. They're supposed to go after the robbers, right? That's what you should be doing. going off on the doggies now. Back toward the sun. Back this way. I should take a look at that guy over there before. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out because uh, well, I got some things to do and I bet you, you do too. But here comes that storm for the west to the east coast too, not just for us. It's going to be one humdinger of a storm, guys. You know? Get ready for it. It's coming our way. Take care, guys.